The vampire hunters, brazen as they were, feared to walk these paths. I knew one spirit haunted this place. Perhaps there were others as well. These smoldering sconces seemed as though they would ignite, if only I had a fire source.
I sought to unravel the mystery of my fate, and in this image lay my first clue. For this scene depicted the forging of the Reaver, the weapon destined to become my prison, and I recognized its maker. The years had changed him, but this was unmistakably the vampire Vorador, and in this era, he still lived. If I could reach him before Mobius's mob hunted him down, he would provide the answers I sought. These images chronicled Vorador's creation. As I already knew, he had not been born a vampire, but had been turned by the infamous Janos Ordren. But this mural suggested that Vorador's origins were even more significant. Apparently, he was the first human to whom the Dark Gift had been passed. This was the vampire's desperate bid to preserve their bloodline for their enemies had cursed them not only with bloodthirst, but with sterility as well. Approaching the tomb, I was met by the specter of the Guardian himself. Eternity weighs heavily. I have a solution. I bear it in atonement. But your moment of existence has passed. Come, and be released. <laughs> I was met by the specter of the Nature Guardian, monstrously deformed since its death centuries ago. Rejoice, creature, for today your spirit will return to the One. <laughs>
the spirit vessel would not respond in the spectral realm, I had to return to the physical world to use it. As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the nature and conflict guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of fire with which their principles were aligned. I was now equipped to reach the pillars.
Once again, I beheld the pillars of Nosgoth, crumbling in decay now, following the corruption of the Circle. Here I would find Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian, and the last pure, undefiled member of the Guardian Circle. Bound here upon her death, she was doomed to haunt these pillars until her successor fulfilled his terrible duty and balance was restored. What manner of creature approaches? I know you well, Ariel, though you do not yet know me. I have no time for riddles, strange one. All you have is time. I have come to seek your guidance. I counsel only one man. And you are not he. But, but you, you will know him soon. The contagion of your kind is coming to an end. My kind? What exactly do you think I am? Your name shall remain unspoken, as decreed by our ancestors. You serve the one who so brutally took my life and set this tragedy in motion. But even now, hope is at work. Balance will be restored, and your kind will be expelled forever. You have pinned your hopes on Cain. He will disappoint you. Uh, what can you know of Cain? More than you could ever fathom. He will do what he must when the time comes. By choosing his own death. A sacrifice for the world. You don't know Cain very well. I know what he is called to do. My faith sustains me. Is it faith? Or fear. You know that if Cain refuses the sacrifice, you will never leave here. And you begin to suspect. I will not hear your poison, fiend. Grant me the answers I require, and I will leave you to your pathetic delusions. Ask then. I seek the vampire Vorador. To kill him, perhaps. Or to join him in death. But for Cain, he is the last of his kind. Mobius's mob has done its work. My reasons are my own. His refuge lies in the heart of the Black Forest. And may you molder there together until the end comes. Thank <laughs> you.
This one apparently aligned with the elemental power of air. These murals had suffered some damage. Once again I recognized the vampire's hero, but this scene revealed something new. For here they had also depicted his destined adversary, now partially obscured, who seemed to bear a flaming sword. chance is that? The bliss of death. I offer it. But I do not accept.
As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the Mind and Dimension Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of air with which their principles were aligned.
This seemed to be attuned to the elemental principle of air. With the Reaver endowed with the elemental power of air, the way to Borodor's refuge lay open at last. If the old vampire still lived, he alone could tell me how to escape the terrible destiny charted for me when the Reaver was forged. Borodor's refuge was hidden deep within the Black Forest. I hoped to find him before Mobius's cutthroats did. 